What's up nerds? Welcome to another edition of Nerd Candy. Today, we're talking about Annabelle. This movie's about a doll that gets possessed by a demon. Well, not really possessed. We're like a conduit for this demon to use to haunt the people that he's trying to f capture. And this doll, Annabelle, based on an actual real life doll, is kind of creepy. And that's where this whole premise takes off. So other than the creepy factor, Annabelle is isn't that scary of a movie? I was sitting in that movie expecting some really scary scenes like The Conjuring, which I think is the scariest movie of all time. Really? Yeah. Scary? It's a cool horror film, but it's not a scary movie of all time. It's the scariest movie of all time. You're a coward. The Conjuring is the scariest movie of all time, and that's where this Annabelle idea was born. Annabelle was this creepy doll in this movie that was a porcelain doll that would mysteriously move on its own without people knowing, and it would haunt people. So how this movie starts off, there's a crazy cult, a sa crazy satanic cult that's connected with Charles Manson. I'm not really sure on that. But anyways, they summon this demon to possess this doll, and that's where the, all the scary stuff starts happening. First off, I don't really like this cult. I feel like it was a cop-out for the writers to easily get this doll in the movie. They try to explain that in the 70s, this was like a, a big thing, cults are taking over the world, but I don't know, it just, I didn't like it in the movie. But there actually is a few creepy ass scenes in this movie, and they're worth the jump scares that they, that they give. They're not even jump scares, you know what's gonna happen, the tension builds to this point where it's gonna break. That's what I really enjoyed about this movie. Other than that, the acting was okay, the scares were somewhat okay, there's a few really good ones, but other than that, like, this movie is kinda bland. Like, I feel like Hollywood is just trying to make a, a quick buck on this movie, because people know about this doll being a real life thing. Other than that, this movie had no point. This animal, you didn't even see the animal walk or anything. This doll was just used as a conduit to move throughout the places of the room to showcase that the demon was there as well. So I really think that there was a lot of poor writing for this film. The film had like a dark feel towards it. There's obviously the tension from just having this doll in this house. You can feel the James Wan vibe over it. Even though he's a producer of this, you can still see he had his fingerprints all over it. The pacing of this film was kind of slow, but that's what horror movies do. They build up to this final climatic scene where everything breaks loose. I give this movie four chucky sloppy seconds out of 10. Anyways guys, leave your comments below, like, subscribe, do what you want, let us know below.